Good morning, everyone. And today is the uh, memorial of St. Catherine of Siena, Virgin and Doctor of the Church. Here is a wise virgin from among the number of the prudent who went forth with lighted lamp to meet Christ. Alleluia. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Grace to you and peace from God our Father and the Lord Jesus Christ. And with your spirit. To prepare ourselves to celebrate, let us first repent of all our sins. Have mercy on us, O Lord. Show us, O Lord, your mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. O God, who said, Saint Catherine of Siena, on fire with divine love in her contemplation of the Lord's passion and her service of your church. Grant through her intercession that your people, participating in the mystery of Christ, may ever exult in the revelation of his glory, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. A reading from the Acts of Apostles. In those days, when an attempt was made by both Gentiles and Jews with their rulers to, mol to molest Paul and Barnabas and to stone them, they learned of it and fled to Lystra and Derbe, city of Lyconia, and to the surrounding country. And there they preached the gospel now at Lystra there was a man sitting who could not use his feet. He was a cripple from birth who had never walked. He listened to Paul speaking and Paul looking intently at him and seeing that he had faith to be made well, said in a loud voice, stand upright on your feet. And he sprang up and walked. And when the crowd saw what Paul had done, they lifted up their voices, saying, In Lyconian, The gods have come down to us in the likeliness of men. Barnabas they called Zeus, and Paul, because he was the chief, of, chief speaker, they called Hermes, and the priest of Zeus, whose temple was in front of the city, brought oxen and garlands to the gates and wanted to offer sacrifice with the people. But when the apostle Barnabas and Paul heard of it, 
they tore their garments and rushed out among the multitude, crying, Men, why are you doing this? We, we also are men of like nature with you and bring you go- good news. That you should turn from these vain things to a living God who made the heaven and the earth and the sea and all that is in them. In past generation, he allowed all the nations to walk in their own ways. Yet he did not leave himself without witness, for he did good, and gave you from heaven rains and fruitful seasons, satisfying your hearts with food and gladness. With these words they scarcely retained the people from offering sacrifice to them. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. <coughs> Not us, O oh Lord, but to your name give glory. Alleluia. Not to us, O oh Lord, but to your name give the glory. Alleluia. Not us, O oh Lord, not to us, but to your name give the glory. For your merciful love and fidelity, why should the nation say, Where is their God? Not to us, O oh Lord, but to your name give the glory. But your God is in the heavens. He does whatever he wills. Their idols are silver and gold the works of human hands. Not to us, O Lord, Lord, but but to your name give the glory. May you be blessed by the Lord, the maker of heaven and earth. The heavens, the heavens belong to the Lord, but to the children of men he has given the earth. Not Not to us, us, O Lord, but to your name give the glory. Alleluia, Alleluia. The Holy Spirit will teach you all things and bring to your remembrance all that I have said to you. Alleluia. Alleluia. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Glory be to you, O Lord. Jesus said to his disciples, Those who have my commandments and keep them, they are those who love me. And those who love me will be loved by my Father and I will love them and manifest myself to them. Judas, not Iscariot, said to him, How is it, Lord, that you will manifest yourself to us and not to the world? Jesus answered him, If anyone loves me, they will keep my word, and my Father will love them, and we will come to them and make our home with them. Those who do not love me do not keep my words, and the word which you hear is not mine, but the Father's who sent me. These things I have spoken to you while I am still with you, but the Counselor, the Holy Spirit, whom the Father will send in my name, he will teach you all things and bring to your remembrance all that I have said to you. The Gospel of the Lord. St. Catherine of Siena 
lived as long ago as the 14th century and she was a Dominican tertiary, like the third order of the Dominicans, that is, people who stayed at home, didn't join the community or take all the vows that professed religious take, but lived according to the spirit of the order. So we have tertiaries among the Franciscans and the Dominicans and many other congregations of that era. But she only lived 33 years. And in that time, she was an extremely active person, and yet an extremely contemplative person at the same time. So she's been called an apostolic mystic. Apostolic in that she was very involved in public kind of ministry, but a very unique ministry of her own. She was involved in local politics in Siena, but she was involved in, if you like, the politics of the church in a very big way. These were the eight years and ages when there was a lot of schism in the church. There were several claimants to the papacy. There were popes and anti-popes, and it was all extremely confusing, and still is, to try to understand and uh, discover who was the proper pope. And the pope had given up living in Rome and had moved himself and his curia and uh, all the paraphernalia to France, to a place called Avignon in the south of France, a beautiful place. And uh, there was a papal palace and all the rest of it, and the papacy was there for quite some time. But Catherine uh, campaigned uh, ceaselessly to have the Pope return to Rome. And she was extraordinary in that as a woman and as uh, someone without um, any role or status in society, nevertheless she was fearless in approaching cardinals and bishops and everyone to put things right in the church. She was at the same time uh, an extraordinary mystic and she is revered mostly nowadays for her mysticism. And it is very direct kind of mysticism, a very profound she couldn't read or write, but she had things dictated and they were taken down and they come to us. Some of her sayings to show a little bit the spirit in which she prayed and the gifts that she received. She wrote or had written for her, the more I search, the more I find, and the more I find, the more I search. This was one way of describing the spiritual life, the hunger and longing for God and progress in the spiritual life, always leading on further to more and more. When you fill my soul, I have even greater hunger. I grow more famished for your light. And it's no surprise that her reputation has grown over the years. And uh, in the contemporary world, with uh, 
the insights into the vocation of women as women, the whole feminist movement, and as a religious member of the Dominican family, she is an inspiration and a guide who is really necessary to keep this movement and insight and grace integrated into the faith of the whole church. The other integration that she's famous for is the integration of activity with contemplation. That these are not rivals or separate options, but essential, both of them, to an integrated and wholesome Christian life. St. Catherine of Siena, pray for us. <clears throat> Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands. It will become for us our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. So let us pray that our sacrifice may be acceptable to God, our Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name. For our good and the good of all these holy churches. 
Accept, O Lord, the saving sacrifice we offer in commemoration of St. Catherine, so that instructed by her teaching, we may give ever more fervent thanks to you, the one true God, through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, at all times to acclaim you, O Lord, but in this time above all, to praise you yet more gloriously when Christ our Passover has been sacrificed. For he is the true Lamb, who has taken away the sins of the world. By dying, he has destroyed our death, and by rising, restored our life. And so overcome with paschal joy, every land, every people exults in your praise, and the heavenly powers with the angelic hosts sing together the unending hymn of your glory as they acclaim. Holy, 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 Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them, like the dew fall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. When we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial 
of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that, partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and Stephen, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, and St. Catherine of Siena, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, how we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. In the power of the Spirit and the way Jesus taught us, we pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Saviour, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom and the power and the glory of now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace, and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Lamb of God, You take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb, Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace.
Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. The body of Christ. Amen. The blood of Christ. Amen. The body 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 of Christ. Amen.
Let us pray. May the heavenly table at which we have been fed, O Lord, confer eternal life upon us, as even in this world it nourished the life of St. Catherine, through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Mass is ended. Go in peace. Thanks be to God. Saint Michael the Archangel, defend us in the day of battle. Be our protection against the wickedness and snares of the devil. May God rebuke him, we humbly pray. And do thou, O Prince of the heavenly hosts, by the power of God, thrust into hell Satan and all the evil spirits who wander through the world for the ruin of souls, Amen.